Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today we're going to take a look at ServiceNow and just some kind of basic troubleshooting steps if your users are complaining that emails aren't coming in um, or emails are missing, that kind of thing. So there are a few places you can look in ServiceNow. Uh, the first place you may want to start is the diagnostics. So we're going to go ahead and start typing in diagnostics. And we are looking for email diagnostics under system mailboxes. So here you can tell if your email is even operational. So your email sending, your email receiving, you can get into the kind of uh, the nitty gritty of the emails themselves, like the uh, how it's set up and that kind of thing, your SMTP, your POP3, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, kind of a nice little dashboard to show all of your diagnostics information. So here we can see that in this case, everything is operational. So it isn't the uh, email sending or receiving that the issue is. So my next step, well, if this was broke, then you would go in and have to fix your SMTP or your POP3 or ensure that things are on in your email properties. If it's not the issue, the next step that I would do is go to sysemail.list. That's sys underscore email dot list. And what this will show you is just kind of all your emails that are coming into the system uh, to ensure that that email actually made it. So if you are able to find that email, no matter the type, the type will be like sent, ignored, received, uh, those kind of items. Um, if you are able to find that email, it means it is hitting the system. So what you might see here in the type is that received, ignored, for instance, um, and that would be, and we'll take a look at that in a second here. Uh, if you're not able to see it in here, that means that ServiceNow did not receive that email. So typically the next steps that I would do is contact uh, your uh, email provider. So whether if you're doing Office 365, contact your Office 365 administrator, uh, whoever manages your, your email coming in. Because basically, uh, assuming you have a forward set up on that inbox, it's not hitting ServiceNow. Now, if you don't have a forward set up on that inbox, you can check the individual uh, emails uh, to see if they sent it to the right address, that kind of thing. But typically, best practice says that you basically set up a mailbox for your customers to email. That way, it's got your domain, your branding, and then have that automatically forward onto ServiceNow. And then you can see kind of where things got hung up. You can see if it got hung up. Uh, potentially in, we'll use the Office 365 example, if it got hung up in Office 365, uh, if there was an issue there, maybe Microsoft went down for some reason, or maybe it was a spam filter, that something caught the eye of the spam filter and uh, it didn't go completely through. Now, if you are seeing it here, but it was ignored, the next thing you could potentially look at is to see why it was ignored. And once again, before I go into that, and we will in just a moment here, before I forget, if you do see it that it was received, another thing that you can do is click into it and see where it went. So down here in the email log, you'll see uh, what inbound actions triggered. Now, this one isn't going to show up because this was sent from the system, so it didn't hit an inbound action because it wasn't inbound. If the type was received, then it would show you your uh, inbound actions, which ones it went through based on the order you have for your inbound actions, and then which one was processed. So it could potentially be that it was processed by an inbound action that you didn't expect because something was wrong with your inbound action. Now, if none of these were it, if it was actually like receive ignored, you can also check your, your filters in your system mailbox. So in the filter navigator, I just searched for filters, scrolled all the way down under system mailboxes and click filters. 
So out of the box, there are specific headers, and subjects that it will ignore automatically. Generally, these are great to keep on, uh, but sometimes you'll find that you actually did want them. So we can see if the header contains uh, this item or the x-fc machine generated uh, true. Um, you can add additional ones if you'd like. You can see about the subject. So this will include things like automatic replies, undeliverable, return mail. Those items can stop it as well. So if the subject contains those, you might see the ignore receive type. So those are a few of the places I would take a look right away. Um, generally, that's going to catch 90% uh, of your issues is in one of those areas. And that's all I've got for now. Thanks, and have a great day.